pi is three? Okay, well, no, maybe not three. Pi is more like four. Wait, no, something's wrong. We need to get a few more digits involved here. And as we involve more and more digits, you can see that we're starting to get a lot closer to pi's actual value. Now, the way that I'm calculating pi here is I'm counting up the number of red digits, those digits making up a circle inside of this square. I'm dividing by the total number of digits and I'm multiplying by four. As we use more and more digits, we're going to get closer and closer to the actual value for pi. The reason this is working, of course, doesn't have anything to do with the actual digits. Instead, the digits are essentially functioning like a Monte Carlo simulation. In this case, we know we're going to be able to predict pi based on how many dots are ending up inside of a circle within a square. That ratio should be pi to four. So when we multiply by four, the value we get back should be pretty close to pi. And again, that might not seem that impressive, but within a percent or so is still quite a bit better than saying 